I have a quick word for someone. This morning as I sat with the Lord, he just interrupted my quiet time with him and he said to come and get on here and release this word for someone who needs to hear it. The Lord said to me, there is someone here who is carrying a very, very heavy burden and you've been praying to the Lord to remove the burden from you. Time and time again, you've been crying out to him, Lord, just remove this. Make this lighter for me. This weight is too heavy. I can't carry it anymore. And these have been sort of the prayers that you have been praying. But the Lord said to me that it is not about him lifting the burden off. It is about how you are carrying the burden. Yes, the Lord can remove burdens from us. But there is a reason why he's having you carry that heavy burden. And I believe that is because he's wanting to train you and teach you how you are to carry that load. Because you are stronger than you think, you are stronger than you realize, and you are capable of carrying a lot of heavy loads. But if you think about a heavy object that you might pick up, if you don't pick it up the correct way, you can easily throw your back out or injure your knees. That is why it's really important to pay attention to the posture in how you lift and how you carry something. If you think about deadlifts at the gym, if you go heavy in weight, you go to about 120 kilos, you really have to pay attention to not pulling um, the weight up through your um, lower back, but you have to focus on using your legs more, keeping your back straight and keeping your arms straight and just really pulling that weight up correctly. Because if you would do it with a bent back, you would really, really injure it. And that's the same way right now. You are capable and strong enough to carry this but the Lord is saying to you, it is how you are carrying the load that is the problem, not the removal of it. And the Lord took me to Matthew 11, verse 28 to 30. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And then the Lord took me to 1 Peter 5 verse 7, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. The Lord is saying that you've been trying to manage this burden by yourself. You just keep praying to the Lord to remove it, but you're not actually coming to him, asking him for strategies in how you are to carry it. Because the Lord wants to partner with you. He's yoked with you. And so the, all of the weight is not upon your shoulders. So come to him and ask him, Lord, how am I to manage this? If you're not taking this away from me and I'm carrying this heavy thing, show me how I can position myself to carry this weight better so that I can carry this load and become stronger and stronger in you in what you want to train me. So my beautiful God, Lord, I just thank you so much for my brother or sister who this word is for. Lord, I pray that you would give them such incredible downloads from heaven to show them how to shift their weight or their posture to be able to carry this heavy burden and weight and load that they are busy carrying, Lord. I pray, God, that, that you would help them to remember to cast it to you and to come to you with it. Not to pray for you necessarily to remove it, but to pray and to ask you to help them carry it and for you to show them how. Father, I pray that you would bless them, that you would strengthen them, Lord, and help them to see this through spiritual training eyes, Lord, that even though it might be something very difficult that they are facing and carrying right now, help them to see, God, that you are gifting them, Lord, with gifts of endurance and resilience and perseverance and even faith. And that they will realize, Lord, how much stronger they are in you when they get through this. So I just pray, my Lord, that, that you'll help them in that place. In Jesus' most holy name. Amen.